All right, guys, so today we're here to do a video that I'm actually really excited about, something that I've been wanting to add to the arcade room for a long time now. And it's actually two things. It's one, it's a jukebox. So I always wanted a touchscreen jukebox in the arcade room. But as you guys know, with if you've seen my setup in the arcade room, I don't have an unlimited room. I don't have, um, you know, a, a giant place to put a, a, a tall jukebox or anything like that. But I wanted a touchscreen jukebox that can play songs in there and stuff and connect to my Bluetooth speakers and all that stuff. So... Uh, I did some research, found some things I needed, got a computer that I needed, um, you know, that I had laying around for spare, and got that all working, and now I have a touchscreen jukebox, and I definitely want to show this to you guys, because it turned out much better than I even thought. I want to show you guys the software, how it works, how it looks, all that stuff. But while I was doing that, I actually got into something else that I wanted to do with it, and that is... Uh, if you guys are familiar with arcade punks out there for in the arcade world or, or where they have a lot of images for pies and stuff, they also have an image called Aladdin, which is basically touchscreen, um, you know, casino type games and quiz games and stuff that used to exist on Windows XP. Now, if you're using Windows 10 like me, about half of those games work on Windows 10 as opposed to all of them that work on XP. Being that I have a Windows 10 machine, about half of these work, but it's awesome because it's all touchscreen games. It, uh, there's even Fruit Ninja on here and stuff that are all incorporated into this download. And I want to show you guys that as well because that is also fantastic and plays really, really well on this for people to have fun when they're over. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about, so this is a threefold uh, video on what I did with this machine, is it actually ended up being a high score machine. What I really love about doing in this house is basically giving people a way to get high scores and incorporate everything around my house or everything around the gaming area. So not just the arcade room, but everything that people can play here that they may not be able to play otherwise. You know, things like VR, retro games, arcade games, uh, even uh, more um, like the touchscreen board game stuff that I have, you know, things that aren't usually, you know, stuff that people play all the time, like the mega touch here behind me and basically be able to get high scores on a touchscreen interface. So this also triples is that uh, I use a website that I'll show you guys called I scored that basically tracks all the different high scores. And I'll show you guys how that interface works as well. So guys, I'm really excited about this video. Let's go ahead and dive in and give you guys a look at how all of this works. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, here we are in my arcade room, and here in the corner, you can see I added a touchscreen um, computer. So this is actually going uh, right behind the big 32-inch uh, Rec Room Masters machine that I have. I actually have it going right to that uh, underneath where all the power connections go. And there is a mini computer, a mini laptop basically sitting behind this arcade machine that is powering this touchscreen, and that's where the cables go to the actual laptop hiding behind there. The laptop is of course powered on. As soon as I tell the arcade room to turn on, since everything's plugged into the same thing, everything turns on when I tell Google and the machine turns on by itself with the uh, power on BIOS setting that you just turn on, just like this computer does and we can get that turned on. Now, this is a touchscreen. It's a 24 inch that I got. And as you can see here, we're sitting on the Windows touchscreen interface that you're looking at here. So if we look at this monitor here, you can see we're, we're in the main options here. Now, I wanna show you guys first the jukebox, of course, that I use and uh, show you guys what that looks like. So uh, since that's what's its main use for what this is for is definitely the jukebox. And the jukebox here is called the digi Digital Center. So um, if I click on this here, it will take a second here to open the Digi Center. This is the Digi Center, uh, Digital Center jukebox. And um, it is a paid app, but it doesn't cost that much. I'll put the amount uh, on, underneath this video because I don't remember. Uh, it's called the Zenpoint Digital Center. Um, and I can't remember how much it costs. I think it was $20. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. And I'll tell you guys. So, looking here into the Digi Center, you can see the volume is right here. Now, of course, I can just come in here, and there's TV spe there's speakers built into this unit if you want them to. So, um, if I come in here, you could do a music center or videos or anything you want. Uh, so let's start with music. So if I click on music, it go ahead and scans everything that's on the computer. Uh, every time it boots up, but it only takes a couple seconds. It sorts everything. And let's pause that because I don't want that song to play. We'll play uh, this song, my current favorite song uh, by Olivia Rodrigo. It's a song that everyone's listening to currently. And um, 
I can do a bunch of things when I come into this that's really cool. So you can see here that you can show the same songs by the same artist if I want to. I can show songs um, from the same genre, show from the same year. You can organize all these different things. And here along the bottom is what you look at when you're looking at what you're currently going to play next. So if someone comes in here and adds, you know, clicks on this Mark Anthony song, for example, and he looks at all the Mark Anthony songs and they want this one, they can add it to the playlist or play as next, or they can hit it as add to playlist, or you can play it right now. So if you add it to next, then it will go to this bottom bar here, or it will add to that and then continue to play those songs as it goes through the day uh, right there for you. Or you can just play a playlist or you can play the song right now if you want to. Same thing here. If you go to same artist, it will show you all the songs from that artist. And then you can kind of just scroll through here just like you would, you know, if you were on a jukebox. Just like if you were on a jukebox as well, you can come in here. And instead, uh, if you go back to the artist here on the bottom, you can go ahead and just search for every single artist. Come in here, look for whatever artist that you're looking for, tap on an artist. And of course, it will find whatever song that you're looking for. Uh, instead of looking by artists, you can, of course, search by songs. And if you come in here, you can also tap the letters uh, to search through all the songs really quickly, uh, which is really cool. And something else that you can do here on the corner with this little music symbol is you can also sort the songs in different ways. So this is by title. Uh, you can do it by artists, like we said. You can do it by genres. Um, you can also come here and do it by years right here with this icon here you can also do it by when the songs were added which is one of my favorite things so that way i can come in here and know exactly what songs i added latest and i can come in here and play them right away um so that's really cool so that's kind of like a general overview of of the actual jukebox fun functionality so if i were to come in here and play this right now you can see the volume of course is not that loud and this is at full volume of this 24 inch so this is obviously not going to be loud enough to you know to go over all the arcade machines that are sitting in the room when everyone's playing you're never going to be able to hear this so what you can do instead is what i have set up which i have two speakers one sitting above the pinball machine that's currently turning it off there and one above here uh, these are jbl speakers so what we can do here is i'm going to take these right now and we're going to power these on and these are the jbl speakers and what's really cool about these is that they have a really cool light as you're seeing here that bounces to the beat of the music so i basically come in here and i basically turn both of these on and now these are both on but not only are they both on they're actually synced with each other and these are bluetooth speakers and they're bluetooth speakers and they work fantastic and they're linked to each other so they're basically like having stereo sound in this room now so basically what i do now um this is already synced and as you can see, now that I played that song, it is playing from both and they're both linked to each other. And it really gives a cool atmosphere in here because of those lights. It fits the arcade vibe perfectly. So they're, they're playing the song there. It's playing the song here. And I can control the volume over here like I just did and uh, make this higher. I have it really low right now. And I can change the volume when I want to. And those two things play. So that's basically how the jukebox functionality works in here. So anybody can come in here, search for any song that they want and play whatever they want. But something else that you can do that's really cool is I can continue to play songs if I want to. Um, but instead what I can come into is I can go to home and there's more things you can do with this. So um, not only do I have music videos in here as well. So if I wanted to play music videos to so use the actual screen here so you can actually see a music video playing, you could do that too. So I could play music videos, I have some on here. Uh, you can also look at the weather if you want to for whatever reason. But I created this custom icon here, the Game Room High Score List. So this program actually lets you add web shortcuts. And this is going to a web shortcut. And I don't know how many of you guys have ever heard this before. I'm going to pause the music here for a second so you guys can hear me better. But um, if I open that up, I can just touch over here to bring up what's open up in the other window. And I don't know how many of you guys have even seen this before. Let me toggle full screen here. But this is something called I Scored. I scored, I'll have the link down below in the video for you guys. And I scored is basically a web app that you pay for. Uh, it's like, again, it's a certain amount of money. It's really cheap. And basically it's a website and this is a oh, full website running right now, even though it's a touchscreen website and stuff. Basically what it does is it lets you add custom high scores to things around your house. Let me get this out of the way. 
for any game that you want. So you can customize the background of this right here. You can customize how you want the colors to look for the scores, the pictures that are at the top. So I'm still working on this, but basically what I did is now I have, while the song is playing in the background, I have it turned off for now for, for you to be able to hear me easier, but basically what I do is I have the songs playing, we make a playlist, the song's playing through here, and then we can swipe back to the screen whenever we want to, just by you know swiping here, you can go back to the music player if you want to, change the song, do whatever you want. When you come back, you come back into here. And this is awesome because anybody can come up here and anything in my arcade, this isn't just arcade games, this is for anything in my house uh, that relates to you know the basement game room and stuff. So for example, we have things like the bubble hockey here. So we keep high scores on who has the, like the best winning streak, who has the best score in karaoke when we play on this machine here. Uh, when this pinball machine arrives, we'll have the scores here. Uh, for the JVL machine that we have to talk about still, that's here. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution, you know, Flappy Bird, and the Mega Touch games, you know, Dartboard, all these different things that we incorporate, you know, some iPad games, Temple Run, who has the highest score there? Um, all these different things that I incorporated to basically use. I like when people come over to be able to use and showcase all the different pieces of technology that I have that other people may not have. So there's VR games in here to get the high score. You know, there's 3DS games uh, so people can get the 3D, uh, 3D game going. You know, there's old school PC games like Lynx, uh, DJ Hero, you know, get the high score. ARMS, Super Smash Brothers, who has the highest record on there. Um, and of course, a lot of these are empty because I just set this up and also COVID going around. There's not a lot of us who are able to come over this house right now. So it's just me and my wife kind of setting high scores as you see us going through here. Um, there's just a bunch of different things that I added onto here, you know, for all the different arcade machines, all the different games in my whole entire game room, all these different things that I added on here that really makes it fun to catch these high scores and make people want to play these games and make people you know play all these things around my house and their interface is really cool because if you see a game you get a high score you click on this one right here it asks you you know your initials are c and my initials are cao so i put that in what's your wins and losses i won this game and i have zero losses you post your score saves your score done one nothing 100 percent. that's how it looks now I can come back in here. The next time I play, oh wait, now I'm 2-0. So come back in here, 2-0, boom, post your score, it's done. And when you click on your name and anybody's name that comes over your house, what's even cooler is it shows you your what places you're in and everything you've played in the house right from any game you click on. So even though I clicked on MotorStorm, I can come here and scroll through and see everything else that I took a score on here and see what my records are in every game across that I have on here, which is really, really awesome. And if you need to delete yourself from here because something happens, just come in here and put yourself 0-0. Zero, zero. It deletes your score and it's off the screen and you're done. And a really, really simple interface, but it looks fantastic. You can customize the hell out of this and do uh, either uh, actual score numbers or win to loss ratios. And when you leave this screen alone, we're not going to be able to do it now, but basically when you leave the screen alone, it will actually start moving left to right by itself. So it kind of showcases everything as you move. This thing is fantastic. It's basically a web app, but it works so, so well for high scores. And that was the main reason I put this touchscreen in here is for this high score interface and the jukebox, which is fantastic. Now, getting out of there, we can also come back into here and there's another thing that I have here and there's something called Simple Touch Games. Now, if you guys are familiar with arcade punks, they also have something that is called on there uh, Aladdin. Aladdin is basically something that is used to mimic all the old classic um, touchscreen interface games on Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows 10. Now this PC is running Windows 10 um, because it's, an, it's a newer laptop and I didn't want to go through the caveats of trying to put an XP on here and getting all those drivers and stuff. So a lot, half of these games unfortunately don't work uh, because they're made for XP. So half of these work and half of these are for, um, you know, will work on Windows 10. So your mileage will vary. If you have XP, everything on here works. If you have Windows 10, it's like half and half. So, part of the, so far, the main games I care about have worked. So that's good. I haven't cost, come across that many so far that I play that don't work. Uh, but basically, you can come in here. You see everything is organized. It's all touchscreen games from back in the day. So a lot of these are quiz forms. That's basically what this was. So it's all quiz games. And you can see that everything that you're playing on here is of course going through the same two bluetooth speakers because everything out of the sound is coming through here um and one of the main games that we play on here uh that's really fun like i said there's a lot of them you can see me scrolling through a bunch 
is Fruit Ninja. So you can come over here, click on Fruit Ninja. It opens up. Here you are playing some Fruit Ninja. Swipe the screen. Um, actually, let's go back one. And, and the touch sensitivity here is really, really good. Uh, the touch screen on here is fantastic. So come in here. You're playing some Fruit Ninja now on the touch screen here in the arcade room. And it's just fantastic. Now, I'm going to quit out of this for the sake of not wasting your guys' time. But you can basically come in here, quit the game, and it will put you back into this interface. Like I said, there's a lot of different things to play here. Most of them are geared towards trivia games because that's what all these games were that were touchscreen games back in the day on the Aladdin platform. Uh, so this is fantastic, and a lot of these games are fun to play. And I'm having a lot of fun go through, going through these. So when I'm done with this, I can just come in here, touch that out, and that is gone. And I can come back into the jukebox and go back in here or go back into this website if I want to and do it that way. Now, here is the touchscreen interface that we were back out before. Now, another thing I can use this for, lucky for me, is a TV. Because here in this house, we don't have actual uh, cable TV. We use YouTube TV as our main platform for TV right now. We also have Hulu, the $5.99 subscription to watch Hulu content. And then we have Netflix as well, of course. So that's where we get a majority of our content. So obviously, I can come in here. Tap on YouTube TV here. It opens up a web shortcut to YouTube TV because there's no YouTube TV app on Windows. But this looks fantastic regardless. Anything that's on YouTube TV, you can scroll through the channel, see what's live, see what's going on. And come in here. Let's say I wanted to, you know, um, watch. Let's go, let's go to something live that's happening right now. Here is the TV guide, for example. Let's go to Two and a Half Man. That's a fantastic show. We can come in here. Here in a second. And here we are. And again, you can touch back in here. You can full screen it if you want. You can get out of full screen. And then when you're done, you just exit. And that's an easy way to basically play. And the, t the sound, again, comes from those two speakers since they're Bluetooth. So... I get really good sound in here. So what that's useful for is, you know, we could be playing all the other arcade games. Maybe we're not listening to music, but we're playing all these games in here. And you want to be able to um, watch a sports game. So this is, doubles as basically a TV for me. So this is a 24-inch touchscreen that started off to just be a jukebox because that's what my main intention was for. And then I found so many other uses now. Now it's not only a great and a fantastic touchscreen jukebox for the arcade room to play music when people are over but now it also has some touchscreen games while the music is playing that we can use it for and you saw some of those already like fruit ninja that people can play uh which those are fantastic and and you know fun to play on their own and on the side note of that we have the high score thing in here which is also fantastic and fun to play uh, and basically get people usually what i do is i have the music going and i kind of use the leave the high score up there so then people are seeing the high scores and they they're playing machines and they're like oh what is that and they come over here and they try to beat high scores and stuff so i think this thing turned out fantastic with all these different options that i can now use this little 24 inch screen for and like i said the touch screen on this thing is fantastic guys um but yeah, that kind of wraps up the tour of how I'm using this touchscreen in my arcade room. Let's go ahead and get to the table to wrap up the video. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, I have a great setup here with the jukebox working on this uh, that I always wanted for touchscreen. Some touchscreen games, some high scores, and even can use it as a TV now uh, to be able to watch sports and stuff. Uh, you know, when people are in there playing a crate, if you want to uh, listen to the sports and watch them and stuff as it's going on. So this was fantastic. And I really like how all of this turned out. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything that we saw in today's video that I may have glossed over on how to do something, or if you guys want to know what I used or anything like that, leave those questions down below as always, guys. And thank you guys for watching. Till next time.